Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing this look. And this look was loosely inspired by a video recently that came up by the mind catcher. And uh, she did like a, I think it was called rose gold and purple look. And so I was inspired to do something similar to that. So this is what I came up with. And so to achieve this look for the lips, I am using a lip paint, glazed lip paint from LA Girl. And it's in the color Seduce. And for the cheeks, I am wearing a La Femme blush in Mocha, which is this one right there. And then for the highlight, I'm using Magnolia Makeup Soul Glow. Looks like that. And for this hair unit, I am wearing <laughs> this uh, is Sensational Instant Fashion Wig. The style is in Jill and the color is HL613. And this is the thingy thing it came with. That's how much I pay for it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the style. And of course, I couldn't get mine to look like that. I'm still working on styling. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this look. And I hope this look will inspire you to create something of your own. Thanks for watching. So we're going to start with Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm going to be starting with this color. And it's in the color Topaz. Going to use that under the brow for the highlight. To blend in the highlight, I'm going to be using this color in Caramel. And I'm going to blend this right below the highlight color. Right below the Caramel color, I'm going to be using this color in Morocco. I'm going to blend that in to the transition area. Then in the crease, I'm going to apply this color from Coastal Scents and Brownstone. I'm going to apply this to deepen the crease area. Going all the way across. Now we're going to work on the lid. I'm going to lay down a base in the middle of the lid. I'm going to leave the outer corners bare for another base. So the first base I'm going to put down is from Sephora. And it is their Velvet Eyeshadow in Plum Velour. So I'm going to apply that to the middle of the lid first. I'm going to flip my brush over and I'm going to apply this next. It's a 
by Milani, and it's actually a eyeliner, I guess. A fierce foil eyeliner in purple foil. And I'm going to apply this to the very outer corners to add that as a base. And just blend over towards the plum base. This color I'm going to apply to the kind of outer corners is this color. It's from Glamour Doll Eyes. And it's in the color Pretentious. And I'm going to list some um, dupes for this pigment but it's a um, purple base pigment and it's got like copper I think they describe it as copper reflex in there but it's a MAC eyeshadow that kind of reminds me of this one and it's also a, a makeup geek one too that uh, reminds me of this color so I'm gonna list that down below once I can look it up <laughs> so I'm applying this right here so I'm avoiding the middle and I'm avoiding the very outer corners on both sides Next on the very outer corners, we're going to apply in this color from Coastal Scents and Edgy Egg Plant. And we're going to deepen up these outer corners. This is what we have so far. Gonna apply another color in the middle. This is another color from Glamour Doll Eyes. This is an Audacious. And this is described as a gold with copper reflex. It's kind of like an antique gold almost. So I'm going to apply that in the middle of the lid. So I'm going to be doing some lower lash line work now. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Gel Liner in Paradise Purple. I'm going to be applying this to the waterline. Under that I'm going to be applying the purple foil. That's going to give it some sparkle. set the liner with the edgy eggplant in the tear duct I'm gonna apply this pigment it's called pink red blue if you're familiar with um, I think it's Chanel she's a YouTube guru and she has her own NVI Cosmetics line. So I'm going to be applying that in the tear duct. So this is the final look. I'm going to be wearing these Coco lashes. They're in the style Ari. And that'll be the look. Thanks for watching.